guys, what's the video? Today we are back at the Disneyland Resort. Today we are going to be covering Downtown Disney. I hope you guys can hear me. There's like live music being played right now at the stage. Just like every time I come here at night, there's always live music playing. <laughs> Yeah, you guys get the point. Live music. But anyways, I think our first stop of the day, as usual, is gonna be the Star Wars training post. So we just got inside the Star Wars training post, and it looks like they still have a lot of the Darth Maul merchandise over here, over there. I'm not gonna show it again. This would be like the fifth time I show it. Uh, they do have that pretty cool jacket I showed you guys yesterday at the Star Trader in Tomorrowland. It's right here. So in case you guys were interested in it, or you guys liked it, and you guys aren't able to get inside the park, find here in downtown Disney. And Stay. What? I'll just hold it. They have this one. Well, if you guys saw yesterday's video, you guys would have seen, or today's video actually. It was from yesterday, but I posted it today. But uh, yeah, showed you guys this jacket in the Star Trader, and I thought it was pretty cool. Look at that. The Death Star balloon. And in case you guys missed it, they have it in sizes extra small all the way up to a 3X, and it retails for. $89.99. Besides that jacket though, there's not like a whole lot of new stuff in here. Uh, they do have some AirPod cases, which I feel like I've never seen before. Uh, so I guess I'll go ahead and show you guys that next. Well, they call them headphone case for use with AirPod Pro wireless headphones. And then they also have the, uh, the one, wait, yeah, here it is. They have the ones for like the non-pro AirPods as well. But here's a look at the different graphics. They have a Darth Maul one, which is kind of cool. They have the Stormtrooper one. And they have this X-Wing fighter pilot helmet. And then, oh, they also have a Jar Jar Binks one, which I think is pretty cool. And in case you guys are interested in any of these, these are $21.99. But besides the AirPod cases, there isn't really anything new. I usually show you guys like the, the latest, like, or not the latest, but I show you guys like all the lightsaber hilts, but I've been showing you guys the lightsaber hilts a lot lately, and they basically have the same ones since the last time I came here. So you guys are basically caught up still. But that's basically it for the Star Wars Shaking Pose. And as far as like construction updates here in Downtown Disney, well, this side of Downtown Disney anyways, uh, here's like a Din Tai Fung. Looks about the same as it did the last time I was here. Looks just as finished as it did last time. It's probably more finished like on the inside, but we're on the outside, so I can't really tell. But this building definitely looks a lot more finished than the last time I was here. Looks like they're uh, filling up the walls a little bit more. And then like they're working on that back wall back there but yeah looks a little more finished but not so much that you can like really really tell <laughs> oh and if you guys didn't know today is tuesday which means new pin release day so we're gonna head to pin traders next so here in the what's new section of pin traders looks like they have i think six new pins from what i counted they have this one 65th anniversary i'm not sure if it's for matterhorn or for the monorail it says monorail here so i'm gonna say monorail but pretty cool pin it's got chipping down there, and then here's like the, or not the back, but this one's 1999. Uh, they have this one. This one is themed to the Matterhorn. This one's kind of cool. It's got a stitch on the front and the Yeti on the back. This one's 1999. Then they have a new Spring Rides with, <laughs> that's cool. It's an Ewok inside of a Scout Trooper helmet. This one's cool. This one's $19.99, and then they have a new It's Showtime posters pin. This one's themed to Gonzo, or the Great Gonzo. This one's $19.99, and then they have a Tarzan pin, celebrating the 25th anniversary of that movie. I love this movie. I actually uh, saved up and bought it on VHS myself when, <laughs> when I was a kid, but at <laughs> VHS. But this one's $19.99 in case you guys are interested. I really like this one. And the new Stitch Attack Snacks set came out today, or the new collection came out today, which I'll show you guys later at War of the Disney, but they do have the pin set here, and it's not behind a display case, so I can show you guys up close and personal. But this one's themed to donuts, and it's got Stitch and Angel enjoying donuts. This is series six of 12, and this set retails for $34.99. So that's basically it for pin traders. There's nothing else new except for those pins that I saw. I really wish I was gonna tell you guys like, hey, we're gonna head to the Lego store next, but sadly we're not. I already went in there and they still have not restocked that uh, Sleeping Beauty castle yet, but when they do, I'll let you guys know. And then just in case anybody's interested or wondering or curious about the old Marcy's Confectionery building and the old dress shop location, still the same, nothing new. Windows are still blacked out. They still have that something coming 
or something new coming soon or whatever the sign says right in front of it and then everything is still being sold at this little kiosk so yeah not a whole lot going on in downtown disney today uh i feel like the more interesting stuff is gonna be at world of disney they have the stitch attack snacks collection which is donut themed and then same with that new disney east collection which is also donut themed but before we reach our next destination which is gonna be world of disney or our next and last i want to show you guys this pretty cool photo op look at that it's uh pride themed this thing is awesome it's like made out of like flowers and then i like how the light in the background is like a rainbow really cool photo op and then right next to the photo op they even have like this little sign right here this is celebrate diversity and inclusion at the disneyland resort with the downtown disney district installation inspired by colombian floral arrangements called uh sietas i guess it's in spanish they even have it like right here where the word is like broken down sietas <laughs> But anyways, we just got to World of Disney, and as usual, we're gonna walk around and see what's new. So we're currently like in the Star Wars section of World of Disney, which is like right by the entrance by Earl's Sandwich. And they currently have a little deal going on right now. Look, I guess it's for these spirit jerseys, which are themed to Han Solo and Princess Leia, or Leia. So it says more magic, Star Wars, I love you. And I know spirit jerseys are buy one, get one 50% off. So now there's no excuse to buy matching spirit jerseys. <laughs> but they have the white and the blue. These are originally $79.99, but if you buy two, you get one for 50% off, which is not bad. Uh, one says, I love you, and the other one says, I know. But that's the blue one, and then here's a look at the back of the white one. Pretty cool. So as usual, here's a look at the ear wall in room one. And it doesn't look like they have anything really new, except they have a restock of the Power Punch, or Peach Punch, I think it's Peach Punch, ears. They have these back in, and they also still have that deal going on. But anyways, now we're in room two, and now I can show you guys the Disney Eats collection. So just like the past collections, over here in the Disney Eats uh, section in room two, they have the new Disney Eats collection, which is themed to donuts. So here's a look at the lounge fly bag. And honestly, this one's pretty cool. Look, it's got like sprinkles all over. It's got the donut, uh, like the big pink frosted Mickey shaped donut right down the front. Uh, it, the pocket is kind of small in the front. I will say that, but it looks like it can hold a pair of ears, which I'll show you guys right now. But here's a look at the back. And then as far as like pricing goes, this one is $88, just like the previous ones. And then let's, look at the, let's take a look at the inside. I'm guessing it's like more donuts or sprinkles or something. And it looks like, yep, more Mickey shaped donuts inside. All right. So let me go ahead and show you guys what the backpack looks like with the pair of ears attached to it. I'll show you guys the ears afterwards, like in better detail, but I just want to show you guys this for, for science. And yeah, look, put a pair of ears around it. And now it's double donuted. <laughs> All right, but besides the backpack, I already put it all back so I can show you guys the ears now in better detail. They are very pink, <laughs> which obviously they're pink frosted donuts, but yeah, very pink. One thing I do like about these though is that the donuts are like hard plastic, so obviously they're not going to be flimsy. And uh, I actually like that they're not sticky because they came out with a pair of donut ears. I can't remember when, a few years back or a couple years back last year. I'm not really sure when, but they came out with donut ears before and they like the they felt like real donuts in a way because like the sprinkles felt kind of real sort of but like the pink part was like really sticky and weird i don't know but these are i feel like an upgrade like these definitely will not be flimsy on a ride or anything but yeah they're pretty cool and they even have like a sequence bow these are 39.99 and they have a bunch here at world of disney Oh, and I almost forgot to mention this, just like with the rest of the other collections that have come out, they also have a Starbucks tumbler, which I'll show you guys in better detail in room four. Because obviously the plastic's there and I can't really pick it up and show you guys prices and all that or give you guys a better look at it, but I'll show you guys in room four. And before we get to like the stitch plushes and stuff, I'm going to show you guys the spear jersey. So here's a look at the spear jersey. I don't know, like it, it, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm just not a big fan of it. I don't know. It's not the pink either. I don't know. I just feel like it's kind of plain in a way. I don't know. Uh, here's a look at the back. Back looks a little cooler. I'm just not a fan of, like the white part in the bottom. I don't know. You guys let me know what you guys think though, but everything else in the collection looks pretty cool. In case you guys are interested in this one, 
It's $79.99 and they have it in sizes extra small all the way up to a uh, 2X. And now for the Stitch Attack Snacks collection. Um, I kind of wish that they had the like, little sign right here that says what month it's in or what month we're in. But right now, like I showed you guys earlier from the pin set, we're in series six. Uh, good thing I showed you guys the pins earlier because like I said, they have them in the display case here, sadly. But here's a look at the Stitch Plush. I like how he's like winking. Stitch Attack Snacks. I like his shirt though, look at that. It's covered in like Mickey Donuts. Stitch is $34.99. And then here's a look at Angel. She's also winking. She has a pink frosted donut. There's like little hidden Mickeys within the donut. I didn't even notice that. And then here's a look at her dress. Matches Stitch's shirt. And she is also $34.99. So since we're in still room two, we're in the Marvel section now. There's nothing else really new, but I wanted to show you guys that they currently have like a little deal going on with the spider bots. I know you guys are probably like, wait, spider bots? I know. But in case you guys don't have one and you guys are looking for one for whatever reason, <laughs> if you buy one spider bot, you get one spider bot tactical upgrade for free. So pretty cool, I guess, if you want a spider bot. But personally, I had one. I bought one. And then like it just sat in my closet for a long time and then I finally eventually just got rid of it. But yeah, they're fun for a little bit and then they get kind of boring, like, you know, like most toys. And with that being said, now we're in room three and we're in the, we're, we're like kind of like in the Winnie the Pooh section. And I want to show you guys that they have the same like backpack crossbody bags I showed you guys yesterday at Disney Clothiers. They have them here as well, just in case, you, again, you can't get inside the park and you guys want that stuff. Like the Tigger crossbody bag, they have it here. Showed you guys this yesterday at Disney Clothiers. It's... $34.99 has a plastic zipper decent you know pocket I guess you can feel like like I mentioned yesterday like you can fit like your phone maybe keys change chapstick stuff like that little things and they also have that pretty cool mini backpack which this was really nice I feel like the camera's not really doing it justice right now because of the lighting it looks kind of like faded or whatever but it's not it's very vibrant very colorful and it's very very cool for the price honestly I kind of wish that they would have made it like a lounge fly bag but you know disney made it so it is a little cheaper 39.99 which is way more value i guess <laughs> value friendly compared to a lounge fly bag but yeah still pretty cool and it's and it's it's well made too so yeah you're still getting quality for what you're paying for but we left uh room three now we're room four where i'm gonna show you guys a closer look at that starbucks tumbler so huge thanks to the awesome cast members that work here at world of disney they let me see the tumbler up close and personal, show you guys. And honestly, I think it's pretty cool. I like how it's just like the last one where it's kind of like see-through. It's like iridescent. It's got sprinkles all over. Starbucks logo on the back. Still has that dome cover on the top, which I'm not a big fan of that, but it does have the pink and white swirl straw. And in case you guys are wondering, this one is $29.99. All right, so my honest, honest thoughts about that tumbler. I think it's it's pretty cool, and I think it's way better looking than that mint chocolate chip one that was the last line that came out. That one was just, I don't know, I was not a fan of that tumbler at all. Ears. But now we're in room five, and I'm gonna show you guys the ear wall over here. Well, yeah, room five. Uh, sadly, it looks like they have the exact same ears that did the last time we were here. Nothing new. Yeah, same old ears. So if you guys were looking for any of this stuff, they still have it all. Something else that they have here in room five is uh, the latest pins. They have the, whoop, the new donut line. They have the spring ride. They have the Gonzo pin and they have the Tarzan 25th anniversary. The only one that they're missing is the 65th anniversary of the one with the monorail and then Matterhorn. That's the only ones that they don't have here, well, in the display case anyways. Maybe they sold out or maybe they just didn't display them, but as far as the display case goes, they don't have those out. And for you like mug fans, I did check the mug wall, sadly. No new mugs to show you guys. And then I even came to the Magic Band wall to see if they had the 90th anniversary of Donald Duck Magic Band, and I don't see it. So sadly, as far as I know, I think the Emporium is the only place you can find it as of right now. Well, that's the only place I've seen it at. Uh, I haven't checked DCA, but as far as places I've been to, World of Disney doesn't have them. And as far as Disneyland, I only saw it at the Emporium. Oh, if you guys are looking for like a summer beach blanket, you guys are in luck because they have one and it's $40. It's actually on sale. Looks like it's originally $69.99, but like I said, as of right now, you can find it for 40 bucks, and it is, I think it's this one that they're advertising. It's kind of cool, I guess. Definitely has summer vibes. 
Uh, and it's originally $69.99. Sorry, the camera's just not focusing today or yesterday or the last few times I've used it, but you guys got what I mean. $69.99 for that. You can find it for 40 bucks. But it looks like that's basically it for World of Disney. So that's basically everything new I was able to find in World of Disney and the rest of Downtown Disney. Um, like I said, the newest thing is probably the pins and the donut collection. That was probably like the newest thing. They also have that pretty cool pride uh, photo op here in Downtown Disney as well. And it looks really cool at night. So if you guys, to, if you guys want to take photos in front of it, I'd say wait till like the lights turn on and, and it gets darker out. But anyways, that's basically everything that I was able to find in Downtown Disney today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.